Today we're in the middle of nowhere in Surrey. Believe it or not, this is actually where the forefront of planetary science and other space science happens. I love the idea that all the stuff that I do on my computer is data that's come all the way from Saturn. It took the spacecraft seven years to get from the Earth to Saturn, but it sends us back new data every single day. That just blows your mind, literally. You just think that is incredible. What we can tell by looking at data like this is that there's a big moon here which is also giving off dust and the dust is absorbing electrons as well, and we can see that all in the electron data. Being a research scientist is very collaborative. Your work by itself well, is useful, but it's not as useful as it is if you're collaborating with other people. And the collaborations that we do are very important indeed. There is always stuff going on in this building. Right behind me is a solar physics conference. They're just going back in after their tea break. And in there, in our library, you can see TV presenter and solar physicist Lucy Green filming something for her new TV show. The instrument that I use for my science was made at Mullard Space Flight Laboratory and now it's on the Cassini spacecraft going around Saturn. This is one of the clean rooms. It's a really good place to test different bits of instrumentation. Our instrument, the uh, electron spectrometer, which is orbiting Saturn at the moment, it's part of the Cassini plasma suite of instruments that would have been tested here. This place has always reminded me of, have you seen the X-Men? Um, Dr Xavier's uh, mansion in the middle of nowhere. There's some really high-tech stuff going on here um, and it feels like if you push a button the swimming pool will open up and this like military jet plane will come out from underneath the swimming pool. For example these cow sheds. If we peer inside we'll see that actually these are the mechanical workshops and this is where actual bits of spacecraft were built so the instrument that I'm using it took seven years to get to Saturn and it was built in this shed. Bits of Cassini were built in here, weren't they? And XMRs, XMM. Uh, so I don't think you'll find this anywhere else in England or maybe even on the Earth. Um, and the fact that we work so closely with the engineers who are building our instruments is pretty cool as well. That I can pop down from my office into a shed and here we are, bits of uh, spacecraft are being made. My ideal job would be to go to space. I'm never going to let go of that. I've managed to go all around the world to very, very different places and ended up here at MSSL. I really love coming to work in a place like this. I mean, look at this landscape, it's absolutely beautiful. And it's where nature and science combine. You can be having a really horrible day in the office and then you come and sit out here and suddenly you'll get that sort of light bulb eureka moment of some kind of science that you're working on. And it's just so perfect, I just love it. <laughs>